Well, thank you for joining me once again. We're going to look at a new series tonight, and it's going to be looking at a particular verse of scripture. You probably have heard it before. It's when Jesus said, deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. And I want us just to look at that verse tonight and try and understand what Jesus is basically saying to us through it. Of course, we've been looking at the book of Titus, looking a wee bit at the book of Peter. We've also looked past few days at the book of James. We're going to continue on. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Where it says that verse, and it says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. What does it mean? Well, let's sort of split it up a wee bit, will we? Well, first of all, tonight we're going to look at what it means to deny ourselves. Think about that. What does denying ourselves require us to do? It's, it requires us to give up anything that we would want in the flesh. Um, the things that we want and the things that we desire within our flesh in life. And to deny ourselves of those things. You know, we live in a society today where everybody has to have the very best of the best, they have to have the best television, they have to have the best car, they have to have the best whatever. And at the end of the day, we need to deny ourselves uh, to seek and after those things because those are immaterial really when it comes to living a life of holiness for God and living for God. We're to deny ourselves anything that will hinder the work of God in our lives and his plans and his purposes. We're to deny ourselves from those things. Now, that doesn't mean to say we shouldn't be wanting anything. It's not wrong to want things, but what we need to do is we need to lay them before the Lord and say, Lord, if this is what you want me to have in life, then so be it. And if not, then so be it. It's denying ourselves denying ourself this selfishness this self we are to deny it and say no this is not good for you so when you feel like doing something that you know is wrong you deny yourself and say no I'm not going to do that you see <clears throat> there is room in each one of our lives for an only one but there's only one master there's room in our lives for only one master, not two, not three, not four, not the ways of the world. You know, you can't live one foot in the world and one foot out of the world and into the church. You're either in Christ or you're out of him. So we can't be lukewarm, as the Bible says in the book of Revelation. What does he say? I'll spew you out of my mouth. That's really coming to the grips of what this is all about denying yourself to deny ourselves if god is the rule in our lives and that's what we've been looking at him being holy in our lives us living a holy life for him following the instructions of christian living then we must be made subservient to his will to his plans to his purpose and willing to give up whatever he asks us to do. Whoa, that's pretty deep, isn't it? That God requires that. But that's what it means to deny ourselves of those things. So we are going to pray. Um, we're going to pray about this right now that as we look at the, the book of Matthew and look at this little verse of scripture, we're going to pray about denying ourselves tonight and as we will continue on tomorrow with it look taking up the very cross and uh, following Jesus so father we just pray Lord God even as we look at this little study tonight we pray in the name of Jesus Lord is that we would deny ourselves from these things that would hinder your walk so search our hearts oh God search each one of us 
even me, Lord, as I pray. If there's anything that's not right, it's not good in your sight, Lord, pleasing in your sight, please show me. Please come and be Lord of my life. Be Lord of those who are watching, Lord. Lord, I pray that each one of us would have a strong desire just to follow you and to live a life pleasing to you. That we would deny ourselves, deny that selfish ambition, deny those selfish motives and say, no, I take them under subject and put them under God's will. Let your will be done in our lives, Lord. Let them be done. And again, Lord, I pray for anyone who has a need tonight, would you come and you meet that need in the name of Jesus? Because, Lord, I know that you can do the impossible. You can do the unthinkable. There is nothing that you cannot do. And so, Lord, even as we look at these this verse and we ponder on it, denying ourselves and taking up our crosses and following you, as we continue on tomorrow, Lord, I pray that you would prepare our hearts to see what you're saying to us. Let us have an ear to what you're actually teaching us and saying to us by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you again for joining me tonight. I trust you've enjoyed tonight's little talk and time of prayer. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.